Jared Poland, Photo.com. We're up on the roof because I wanted to do an extreme example of something. We have the worst daylight ever to go and shoot where it's like two o'clock. We've got the sun almost straight up in the air. We've got this really harsh shadow on the ground here and we're not working with flash. It's our job to work with just a reflector if my man stays where he's supposed to be to show you how we can basically use what the reflector is letting us do to try to get images that can be useful here. So the situation is you don't have a flash. You can't make this happen by filling in flash, which is the ideal situation. We have to use the reflector and what it allows us to do. This is a five-way reflector. You have to be very careful with reflectors all the time anyway, so you don't kill yourself. Stay right there, man, or I will kick you. Don't wobble. Weebles wobble, but they never fall down. So you want to be careful when you open this up. The point is, we want to fill in light in front of this guy. We want to fill this light in. And we're going to show you how we can do that. I'm just going to turn this so he doesn't fly away. Look, let's see this difference. We're going to put the white reflector in there. You see how the light's filling in a little bit? Steven, it's filling in, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think it's filling in. And then we're going to do this with the gold. Ah, uh, there you go. You see how the gold is filling in? We'd get enough light in that person's face or body or torso of the mannequin to make it work. So you see that? Boom. Popping that light back in there and that would be a cool black and white. You see that? So that would be good for a headshot. One thing that you can do with your subject is ask them to hold this. If you don't have anything to hold it, just have them point it back into their face like this. It's going to reflect back. It's going to put the light back where you want it. That's a good thing. So you could do it with the white. You could do it with the gold. And on the other side here, there is a silver. But there's one other thing that I want to show you that you could do. You can rotate this to be silver, but you can also use this as a way to scrim out the sun. So if he was still standing, this would be blocking the light. Just look. It's just like, hey. You see that? Now I'm in shade, in, in shade. That drops your exposure, but now I'm in shade. I'm not in harsh sunlight. So if you have somebody to hold this, it can work and give you a good image. See that? Natural shade. It's diffusing the light. It's softening it. So one of these things isn't going to cost you too much money. I don't even know how much these are, but this is a five-way reflector. It stays in my car at all times or in my loft, wherever I'm at, just in case I need the block light or in case I need to reflect light back into somebody's face or just I want to dance or have some fun with a reflector. So really, that's about it. It's pretty simple, but this is a good, effective tool to have in your bag to get shots when you need to either block light out, diffuse light, bounce light back in using the silver, using the gold, whatever's going to work best for you. This comes in major handy. So there you have it. From the roof, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.